Hey, welcome back to A Song Between. Today we're talking about how to experience the presence of God. Let's talk about it. Welcome back. This is A Song Between, and I'm Gray Ewing. Welcome to our study of the Psalms. While we can't gather in worship, we are gathering around the truth of God in the songs of the people of God as a way to encourage our hearts in the in-between. So we're really glad that you joined us today. Today we have absolutely, hands down, one of my favorite Psalms of all time, Psalm 139. Beautifully written Psalm about the presence of God. And we're gonna talk about how we can experience the presence of God. Would you take just a moment with me to be silent before the Lord, before his word is read, be still and know that he is God. Let's be still before him. Psalm 139. O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Where shall I go from your spirit? Where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me and the light about me be night. Even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is bright as day, for darkness is as light to you. You formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God. How vast is the sum of them. If I would count them, they are more than the sand. I awake, and I am still with you. Search me, O God. Know my heart. Try me, and know my thoughts. And see if there be any grievous way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. I want to talk today about the presence of God, enjoying, experiencing, knowing that God is with us. I can't think of a better time that we need to be more equipped in this to know that God is with us right now in this hard season. So how do we experience God? I want to begin today by saying I think that everybody has a very deep need. And I'm not the first person to say this, many people have said it, but the deep need is this, to be known and to be loved at the same time. That's really what presence is, a good presence. When you think about your spouse or a good friend or anyone that you might have a more intimate relationship with, you are able to be known and loved at the same time, or at least on some level, you can be known, meaning, your stuff is out there. Everybody can see what it is that makes you tick. They can see your flaws, your warts and all, and yet they love you. That is a deep need that we want from other human beings and that we often don't get. The beautiful thing about knowing God is that he deeply knows us and loves us at the same time. That is why it is the most satisfying thing in the world to be a follower of Jesus Christ, because in Christ we are known and we are loved at the same time. The presence of God is something that exposes that love and that knowledge. And so we see this Psalm talking about how intimately God knows us. So let me talk about a couple different ways that we can experience the presence of God and experience that love and that self-knowledge being revealed to him. Uh, the first thing is this, you have to get rid of the fear. Here's what I mean. Being in the presence of God in scripture is either the most wonderful thing or it is the most fearful thing, depending on who is being exposed. 
you, you read the words of the psalm, you've searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. Now that may be scary to you to hear that God knows everything about us. He knows our thoughts. He is acquainted with all of our ways. And so you have to see first, you have to see first that if you're going to experience the presence of God, you must leave fear out of it. The truth is, whether you acknowledge God or not, he knows you. He already knows you. And what the scripture says is that perfect love casts out fear. And so if you are afraid of God, you will never experience his presence as something beautiful and wonderful. How do you get over that fear? Getting over the fear, as I said, comes from knowing that you are loved. If you are in Christ Jesus, the scripture promises us you are loved in his son, not because of your worthiness, but because of Christ's loveliness. You are loved and known. And so you must leave fear out of it. You must get to this place where you can be exposed before the Lord and see it not as this harmful, dangerous thing, but as the psalmist says, this knowledge is too wonderful for me. It's so high. I can't attain it. I think this is beautiful that you know me so well. So that's really the first step. Get rid of the fear and accept the love of God. Second, you acknowledge God in everything that you do. This is how you experience God in a nutshell. Let me break that out into three quick ways that you can acknowledge God in everything you do. First, your routines must be guided by him. Your routines must be guided by him. Do you see how the psalmist here talks about, David talks about going to sleep, waking up, being in darkness, being in the light. The rhythms of his day are guided by the presence of God. When he wakes up, when I wake, I'm still with you. He thinks of God first. He has so structured his day that the day itself reminds him of God. So if you're going to experience the presence of God, you're going to acknowledge him. Your routines must be guided by him. Secondly, your thoughts must be filled with him. Your thoughts must be filled with him. The psalmist says, how precious to me are your thoughts, O God. How vast are the sum of them. He talks about being fearfully and wonderfully made, that his frame is beautiful. He's thinking God's thoughts. He's acknowledging God's character. He is dwelling on who God is. And if you want to experience the presence of God, you must know something about God. You must be in his word. You must have some idea of his character, and then you can think thoughts of him. So his routines are guided by him. His thoughts are filled with him. And then finally, you must repent daily to him. The psalm ends by saying this, See if there is any grievous way in me. Part of being known and loved at the same time without fear is that we have the ability to express what is wrong with us because we no longer have the fear of judgment. God is for us. He's with us. So we can say anything that is not good, that is grievous to him. And I guarantee you that if you repent daily, you will be closer to the Lord in his presence. And so first, you must get rid of the fear. Second, you must build your life in such a way to acknowledge him. How do you do that? By having routines that demonstrate him, having thoughts that are filled with him, and then repenting daily so that you can be forgiven by him. If you do this, I guarantee you, you will feel the closeness of God. His loving presence is not fearful. He is for us, not against us.